He has directed all party flags across the country to fly at half mast for the next seven days in honor of the memory of Ahmad Bouzia, who died on Tuesday, December 12, 2023. The late sister of the former Prime Minister Kofi Abrefat Bouzia was a leading member of the party and known for leading and supporting vigorous political campaigns, some of which led to her arrest at least six times. And the following report, City News delves into her life and legacy. In her last years on earth, Ama Bami Busia served as a member of the New Patriotic Party's National Council of Elders and a member of the Council of State. But before that, between 1970s and the 1980s, Ama Bami Busia, sister of former Prime Minister and the Ghana's Second Republic, was nearly a torn in the flesh of Ignatius Kutue Champon regime, which led to a coup d'etat to overthrow the democratically elected government of her brother, Dr. Kofi Busia. Madame Ama, in an interview on City TV's Footprint show hosted by Samuel Tamensa, recounted her life during the Kutue Champon regime, which saw her arrested for at least six times. You, you, you spent some time in jail. What led you to jail? <laughs> Was it under Kutua Champon? Oh, they, on the Kutua Champon. They used to. I get up early in the morning, my house is surrounded with. That time they call a special branch. Yeah. They will come Today's and search me. BNI or NID or whatever. They will come and search me. They won't see anything. Sometimes they will arrest me from my office about 11 o'clock in the morning, take me to either Bema camp. Or well, they have a very long room at 37. Or they have this... Uh, the, the, the one that, with the high roofs, eh? No, this is a very long room. And then they have another office near 37 Military Hospital. Mm -hmm. I think that's where they took... Uh, but no, I, I've been there before, so uh -huh. I, I, I know this one. <laughs> they will put me uh, then 12 midnight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They will ask me to go home. A very lonely place. And they wouldn't even give you transport. <laughs> How and I got back trees to all over the place near Kaokudi. <laughs> they did that six times. Wow. The sixth one, they kept me for three months at James Ford Prison. To a sister who ardently supported her brother's regime, Ama Buzia, in an interview on City TV's Footprints, also highlighted the achievement of Dr. Kofi Buzia, but however lashed out at Dr. Kwame Nkrumah for emptying the country's coffers before leaving office. Anywhere that we go, the first question I ask, what did Buzia do when he was in power? And they show me, he did this road, or he built this school, or he built this hospital. He left his mark everywhere, for within only 27 months. Mm -hmm. But there was money there then. Pardon? And Nkrumah left some of the money. Oh, no. Yeah. When Nkrumah came Le to power, uh -huh. we had over 200 million pounds with a population of five million or six million in this country. Mm -hmm. You are reliably informed. Yes. Uh, no, the figures are there. Mm -hmm. You can go to archives mm -hmm. and trace it. Because I've been interviewed on that subject before. Okay. And Kroma left nothing. The family of Amabuzia confirming her death said she died peacefully in hospital at the Nyaho Medical Center, Accra, in the early hours of Tuesday, December 12, 2023, at age 87. For playing her part actively in Ghana's political landscape, the MPP believes flying its party flags at half-mast is one of the ways to remember the party's stalwart. In a statement, the party described her as a distinguished stateswoman whose loss will be hardly felt. Excerpts of their statement read, and I quote, The party extends its heartfelt condolences to the Buzia family and also commiserates with the rest of the nation for the painful loss of this illustrious citizen of our land. End of quote.